we're still talking about continuity and I'm going to spell out a specific rigorous definition of continuity here. A function f of x will be continuous at this x value, x equals c, if and only if 1 f of c exists. So the function has to exist at a certain x value in order for it to be continuous at that x value. If a function is not defined at a particular x value, it cannot be continuous at that x value. Then the second thing is the limit, the limit as x approaches c of f of x also must exist. So the function has to not only be, be um, has to has to not only exist at a point, it has to have a limit at that point, which means the left and right limits have to both exist and be the same. In order for the limit to exist, the left and right limits both have to be the same. And then third, the limit of the function at that point must equal the value of the function at that point. So let's write the limit as x approaches c of f of x equals f of c. So a function is continuous only if the function exists at a particular point, if the limit exists, and if the limit equals the value. And this is how you often hear it put. The limit equals the value. Because stating it that way, if you're talking about the limit of the function and the value of the function, you're assuming that the limit and the value both exist. So a lot of times continuity is summed up just with this one statement. The limit of a function equals the value of the function. And let's look at some pictures that illustrate these specific cases. In this first picture, we're looking at this particular x value right here, and we'll call that value c, and f of c does not exist. So the function is not continuous at this point right here because the function does not exist at that point. In the next picture, again, look at this particular x value, we'll call it c. Again, the value of the function does not exist. There's a vertical asymptote right there. The function itself is not, def not defined. There's an infinite discontinuity. The function is not continuous at that point, and the reason it's not is because it doesn't exist at that point. I'll scroll down here to the next couple of pictures. Okay, in this one, let's look at this x value here we'll call it c. Note that f of c exists. There is a particular y value right there or or some f, f value. f of c exists but the limit does not exist. The left side limit exists and the right sided limit exists but they are not equal. There isn't a particular value that the function approaches as we get close to this particular x value. We approach different values from different sides so the limit does not exist and therefore the function is not continuous in order for the function to be continuous the limit at that point must exist now look at this one here's a point let's call this x value c once again now note that the limit exists if we approach this point along the curve we're approaching this particular x value and the closer we get to that particular x value without actually getting there the closer we get to this particular y value, which is f of c. So the limit exists. The function exists. Here's this point up here. At c, it has that y value. But this y value here, the value of the function, is different from the value of the limit. So the function is not continuous. And sure enough, if we tried to draw this, when we got to this point we have to pick up our pen and draw that point and then continue on so we can't draw it without lifting our pen off the paper the 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 function value exists and the limit exists but the the function is not continuous at that point and it's not continuous because the limit does not equal the value the limit of the function at c does not equal the value of the function at c now there's one other case that's worth worth looking at and that's this. This point right here on a function where there's an abrupt change in direction. Okay, that's called a cusp. Now what's going on at the cusp? Well the function is continuous and you'll note that if you try to draw this function you might come to a stop right there while you change directions but you don't have to lift up your pencil. 
you can draw this function without taking your pencil or pen off of the page. So this, this corner or this point on the graph, which we call a cusp, is a place where the graph abruptly changes direction. But it is continuous right there. The function is defined at this point. There's a particular value at this point. And there's a limit. The closer we get to the, the, this x value from either side, the closer we're getting to this point from either side, and the closer we're getting to this y value. So the function exists at that point, and it has a limit at that point, and they're equal. So the function is continuous. But there's still something obviously unusual going on right here. What is it? What's, what's unusual at that point is that the derivative will be discontinuous. If you were to make a graph of the slope of this function at various x values, so let's call this point right here c, and let's mark it over here. And let's, let me um, make some room positive and negative here. Let's think about what's going on with the slope of this graph. Well, the slope right here is positive, and it's positive right here, it's positive here, it's positive here. It's positive for all of these x values, but it's getting a little bit less and less steep. It's not curving back down yet, but it is getting less steep as we go to the right. That means this, the graph here, if, if, this is, if this is f of x, and this is f prime of x, the derivative. If we graph this, this number has, as we go to the right, this number has to start off positive and decrease. So that's what the graph of the derivative is doing. Let me try to get that a little bit smoother there. As we approach c, the value decreases. Now what happens to the right here? Once we get past c, at point C, there's an abrupt change in direction. The slope was positive, and then all of a sudden it's negative. So this graph, which is a graph of the slope of this graph, this graph will be positive, and then all of a sudden it will be negative. And as we go to the right here, this, this graph is negative, and it gets less and less steep as we go. So the derivative here as we go to the right will be negative but will be getting less and less negative as we go so it will look something like this and there will have to be open circles drawn here and here the derivative doesn't exist at this point or at this x value but we could define uh, a cusp in that manner there's an abrupt change in the slope of the graph the derivative will have a step discontinuity at that point and that is actually the, the definition of a cusp. A cusp is a point where the function is continuous, but the derivative of the function is discontinuous.